Welcome to part five of walking on the Ryerson Station warpath and part five of fracking fracking gas is turning USA into toxic hell. That'll be the title of my blog. <laughs> my blog and these set of videos. Fracking gas turns USA into toxic hell. And so that's what it's gonna be. And that's I I watched one of the I watched one of the videos how they claim oh once we drill down thousands of feet I don't know how many feet we drill through the water table but once we reach the water table we send down a shield of a wall of metal and a wall of concrete to make sure the toxins from the fracking process do not go into the water system. And you know what I say to that? Bull fucking shit. <laughs> what a bunch of bullshit, man. <laughs> and people believe that. And like I said to you people who are in the gas industry and who are, you know, I know you're making money and I'm glad because this is the only industry that we have, so God forbid. I mean, this is great. I mean, they're calling this Saudi Arabia of, of the natural gas right here. This is Saudi Arabia. Oh, very good. See, I got a rag on my head to prove it, man. <laughs> but anyways, you have to reach into your soul, man. You're, you're not going to be able to live here. Oh, everybody is going <laughs> all this shit that's going in the water you know I was actually happy when I finally moved down here and I told my mom and dad I said well at least one thing there's one thing in life that when you live out here in the, in the woods that uh, you can actually get something for free and it's actually well water I said now this is America this is America well, guess what? Speaking of George Bush, that was my George Bush. America! Uh, he's the one who, like I said, Hal Burton, George Bush. You know, all these people make me sick. I feel bad that that guy was a better actor than Obama. He had us all fooled, man. You got to go back. Like I said, I... See, I know more than a lot of people know, so when, when you guys hear me talking about the New World Order and stuff, you know, it's like, what's this guy talking about? Like, you guys gotta, you guys gotta um, realize that since 9-11, I turned off my television set. That's the first thing, if you look down at every one of my blogs, when you go to my blogs on my website, the website's at the bottom of this video, by the way, and go check go check out the fracking America beautiful is turning into a toxic hell but anyways the uh darn it that cars do that to me every time but anyways darn it oh well okay we'll just move right on uh <laughs> the, um this just this fracking is just totally it has me, oh, and, and okay, I'll review since I totally got blown away by that, that car. It was kind of close here. As you see, there's the edge of the road and the car is right there. So that's why I kind of threw my brain off. But anyway, see the, see the beautiful nature coming through? Um, but anyways, yeah, go, go to the bottom of this video and go to my website. This, this will be up in a blog already. Uh, not these videos, they'll be up as they upload into that i'll put them into that blog and uh but i have all these like that one about how they said how they go down through the groundwater and it's all perfectly safe you guys who are drilling for gas have to uh soul search and say hey man i'm not going to be able to live here if you already have lived here all your life you know and this is where your grandfather is settled and you know you have to draw a line between you got to fight for what's right you know 
fight for freedom. Freedom is not living in toxic hell. And that's what they're turning the whole world into with this depleted uranium, uh, the Gulf of Mexico, the Fukushima, uh, dumping all the radiation. I mean, it's like the people who are actually behind the New World Order, they're, they're demons from hell. They, they don't care about what they do to this planet. It's all about greed and wealth, and it's sick. It's sick. I'm going off the grid. I'm, I'm going to live off the land. I'm, I, I don't know how I'm going to do it. I want to find a... Uh, I want to find people that are living on the land and become part of their tribe. I know it's happening all around the country. Email me. My email connection's on here on these videos. So if you're someone that's in a community that's off the grid and, and living off the land, get a hold of me. I'm joining you.